Hey everyone, welcome back to another new exciting video. So recently AWS outage got happened and many services got went down and uh, AWS also has given one update regarding this issue that what was the root cause. So in this video, I will discuss with you the actual root cause with an example and you will get the proper understanding that why it got happened and uh, actually you will get also idea that how the DNS system works and also the DynamoDB relation with this DNS and it will help you a lot to learn more new things. Okay, so let's see. Here you see that uh, it has given one update on their official page. So this is the service health of AWS and there they have given this update that uh, we have identified a potential root cause for errors rates for the DynamoDB API in the US East One region. So actually their US East One region is the biggest uh, hub for this uh, database DynamoDB. There are many operations are going on in that region. Uh, so this is the major region, okay. Based on our investigation, the issue appears to be related to DNS resolution of the DynamoDB. API endpoint in US is to one. We are working on multiple parallel paths to accelerate recovery. And the issue also affects the other AWS services in the US is to one region. And the other AWS uh, services like issue to Lambda, these are the uh, services that they provide. And they are also using that uh, DynamoDB. Okay. And there was an issue in the DNS system of this. Uh, DynamoDB API. So what was that issue? Let's see with the simple problem and simple analogy of the lost phone number problem. Okay. Uh, so you will actually match the same problem with the our real life phone number. So what happens that when we call someone, we just uh, find that person phone number inside our phone book list. And if we find that number, then we can easily call that person. But if we don't find that number, we cannot, uh, or we, we will not be able to call that person, right? So here also the same same things. What is DNS? DNS, the full form is the domain name systems where the API or where the domain and the IP are defined. Like for this domain, the IP will be this, then that mappings are defined. Like uh, for Google, the IP is this, for Facebook, the IP is this, that mapping is defined in the DNS. And here you see that normally what happens that um, I want to call John. So it looks up the phone uh, uh, with the person named John and he finds the number and connects the call. Okay. Now here also in case of AWS, it is your app and you are telling that I want to use the DynamoDB. So it will look the DNS and there the uh, the domain. This is the DynamoDB domain endpoint, which is the DynamoDB.us is to one Amazon AWS.com and it finds the IP and it will connect that. Okay. But what happens that AWS DNS phone book got broke for this uh, URL. This is the US East one region, uh, this DynamoDB URL. Okay. Now what happens that uh, let me discuss some of the things about this DynamoDB. So those who don't have the knowledge about this DynamoDB, it is basically AWS super fast NoSQL database that powers almost everything. Okay. It, uh, you, you can say that for the Snapchat application, it stores the messages. For the Fortnite, it saves the player stats. And for Lambda functions, it stores the data. And there are many other AWS internal services like S3, EC2, they are, have also, they are also using this uh, DynamoDB as a storage. So the, here you see that 60 plus other AWS services use it internally. So these are the external user like Snapchat, Fortnite and EC2, S3, they are the internal user of this DynamoDB. Okay. Now what happens that uh, every AWS service uh, they are calling it like this that hey DynamoDB save this data and it saved to the DynamoDB and it is saying that okay I am saving this. But uh, without DynamoDB it 
everything stops working so if you can't save anything or if you can't fetch anything from that dynamo tv it will create problem right and the same problem got happened today so how do you see that this is the exact problem so in normal day in a normal day what happens that your app uh, is telling that save the user data to dynamo db i am giving you a simple example and your app asks the dns that where is the dynamo db dot us is to one amazon aws dot com this is the dynamo db means the database url okay and then it will find that uh, domain and it will find that ip for this domain in the dns and then only it will ping to that ip it will connect and dynamo db saves the data and uh, you will get the uh, that uh, successful output or response and the same things happens for the aws services like lambda s3 ec2 now what happened today that uh, this dns system totally got broke and uh, this is the information that they have uh, provided in this section okay so this is the section here you see that they have provided potential root cause now here you see that uh, your app is here and save the user data to dynamo db this is the scenario after dns got broke your app asks dns that where is this uh, in point where is this domain present so inside the dns it cannot ping to the dns so if you if it cannot ping to the dns then it will not find the ip so if it cannot find the ip then it will not connect to the uh, dynamo db and if it cannot find the dynamo db then what is the result crash 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 and ultimately you will understand that the service is down okay so this is the scenario now the thing is that what can be the reason for this uh, dns break okay so here you see that they, i have written down some of the scenarios like dns server crash this is scenario number 1 like the dns server got crashed in this region us east one and that's why uh, when you are have asking that where is the dynamo db there is no answer this is scenario 1 and scenario 2 is that network split what is network split so here you see that dynamo db servers and dns server they got disconnected okay so dns is connected to the dynamo ser db server but when it is pinging to that uh, dynamo db um, it it is not finding any response from them okay and it returns the error and the third scenario can be dns configuration error Uh, during that configuration, uh, it has um, made some typo mistake in the DNS config, and that's why uh, these connection diffused errors are coming. Okay. Now, um, if you you will ask me that why these um, many systems got affected due to this outage, the thing is that this is called domino effect. Why everything broke? So actually, US East One is AWS main hub. Forty percent of all AWS traffic goes through it. So if Dynamo DB down, then Lambda cannot save logs. Lambda down means EC2 cannot process request. And if EC2 down, S3 cannot serve files. And if S3 down, CloudFront cannot deliver content, Miss Cidian. And if CloudFront down, then website disappears. so this is called domino effect means if one service is down then the related service will also don't get the response and the website will be ultimately gets crashed and it will fails you will face that it is down okay so here you see that this is the interesting thing dynamo db down to lambda down and lambda down to ec2 down and ec2 down means s3 down and s3 down means cloud front cdn down and if cdn down then all of the files that is getting served through the cdn they are also down and i have said is disappear okay so this is the thing that i wanted to share with you guys and if you found this detailed explanation with transparency what i have discussed i think it will be helpful for you to understand in a simple language i have already explained you 
If you found this video helpful guys, don't forget to subscribe this channel, don't forget to like this video also. See you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Take care. And please don't forget to watch the other videos also that I have published in our channel.